So today I just want to make a very quick video talking about a ton of my smartphones over here. We have the, the Xperia S, we have the Galaxy S2, we have the Galaxy Note, we have this Galaxy Nexus, we have the Nokia Lumia 900, uh, or I mean 800, or Nokia N9. Basically the new, the new Nokia Lumia 900 is just the big Nokia Lumia 800. We have the Apple iPhone 4S and we have the HTC One X. And I want to talk about a very, very important thing in this video, I think, and a very fun thing to talk about, and that is the bio quality, and not just the bio quality of phones of course the bio quality the materials used and everything that's very important but also one thing that sh that um that, uh, that, 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 that that's also very important that's very related to the build quality and that is how does the device feel to hold and use and how is the buttons where are the buttons located on, on the device and everything so uh, as I said we have the HTC One X we have the Apple iPhone 4 we have the Nokia Lumia 800 we have Galaxy Next we have the Galaxy Nova we have the Galaxy S2 and we have the Sony Express over here uh, and uh, okay so let's go ahead and just jump straight into this and let's talk about build quality okay so which devices do I think has the best BO quality out right now? Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now that... Wait a sec. Okay, so I'm back. Okay, so the best BO quality. Which smartphones do have the best BO quality, if you ask me right now? And which kind of brand is it? Okay, so I think, first off, we have the Apple iPhone 4S from Apple has the best build quality, Apple is very good at build quality on their smartphones. Then we also have Nokia with their like uh, Lumia phones and everything. The build quality is freaking amazing on these phones, okay? It's freaking amazing, the, the materials and everything that they use. And then we have one last guy here that I think is in the top. Um, and that is basically the HTC with their build quality on their smartphones. I think these guys are the best companies right now you know in the, in the build quality if you talk about smartphones and the phones that I've been picking up so let's go ahead and see on the back we have the glass and then we have some kind of hard um, hard material uh, one thing that the, all of these smartphones have in common here is that they have like a whole unibody or you can't basically take out the battery on these phones um, so that's something that you that's kind of interesting that all of those uh, have that okay so Let's see here. Note here, I, 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 I think these are followed up uh, just behind there by Samsung and like Sony and LG, maybe behind Samsung a little bit. Uh, okay, so that is just a quick thing there about the build quality. But one thing here is how does the devices feel to hold and everything? So there are two different uh, kind of form factors you have. Uh, on, on devices first you have these kinds of very hard edges on, on a smartphone and then you have the curves okay curves are basically everywhere you just go ahead and look around in your room this was something that Steve Jobs said as well curves are freaking everywhere everyone loves curves as I said go ahead and look at look, look around in your room you will find curves all over the place as you can see I have the coca-cola over here we can see the curves the box is shaped with the curve okay it feels good to hold and everything we have uh, this uh, sledgehammer over here it has the curves okay it feels very good with the curves curves are freaking everywhere and it's very important on smartphones that they have good design so they feel very good to hold so let's go ahead and just take a quick look here on these devices over here that i thought had the best beer quality but how do they feel to hold in your hand okay so let's just go ahead and start off uh, with the uh, Apple iPhone 4 okay so I mean the, the Apple iPhone 4s so this uh, it feels very like solid it feels it has like a nice feel to it it has like a heavy weight uh, one thing I can say for sure here is that this phone wouldn't have worked with the same form factor it's having right now and the same weight if this uh, if they would have a 5 inch screen then because it would be too heavy and the form factor would be too weird because as you can see they have these kinds of um, let's see 
come on as you see they have these kinds of very very hard edges here on the sides they don't have any curves on the side uh, but what they do have that's very good and why this design works is because they have these kind of hardcore um, uh, hardcore nice curves here on the side and the thing is that the screen is only 3.5 inch so it fits perfectly in your hand as you see this is very important uh, where you rest it okay it feels very good because it's right there at the curve uh, so this design works just because the, the screen is too small or I mean not too small but the screen is kind of small so that's why this design works this design would probably felt very awkward if this if this design if this phone would have like a 4.3 inch display this would feel very awkward okay it would because it would be like a massive weird looking sandwich uh, yeah okay so um, that's the thing, uh, video quality and how does it feel, it feels very good, okay. Uh, now, uh, let's just go ahead and quickly go to the Nokia one. One thing, uh, the Nokia one has curves on the sides, but it doesn't have, uh, the, the Nokia, as I said, it has the curves on the side. Let's see, can we get, I don't know. Yep, as you can see, it has the curves on the sides, but one, one thing that they fail with here, Nokia, is that this phone only have curves on the sides, but where you rest your hand over here, it feels very weird, because this one can actually kill people, okay? Um, so, that's something that Nokia failed on over here. You can't have these kinds of hard edges or it doesn't feel good, okay, because you're going to rest your hand there. And that's something that I, I don't get it. I think this could be one of the best designs on a smartphone if they would have had nice uh, looking curves here on the side as well. But why didn't Nokia do that? They, if they would have nice curves here on the sides and also like curves on the sides this would have been an amazing feel to, ha to have this phone in your hand but right now it just feels a little bit awkward when you have this kind of hard edge curve here on the side uh, let's just go ahead and continue here with the next smartphone and that is basically going to be uh, the HTC One X oh my god the build quality of this device is amazing but how does it feel to hold okay i'm gonna say it like this first of all this design really reminds me of of uh, uh, the galaxy nexus it's a little bit bigger in screen but it has some better build quality uh, and how does it feel well first of all uh, it has this kind of small mini curve here so basically the phone is pointing out um so and and, and also it has some kind of a uh, hard edges uh, on the sides basically um, uh, it's very very hard to see here on the camera let's see okay there we go you can see it has some kind of like hard edges um, and that it's still a little bit curved uh, so it feels uh, pretty pretty good actually pretty decent uh, when you hold it like this but it still feels a little bit awkward okay uh, because the screen is kind of big so um, it could have been better okay it could have been a little bit better uh, if you go ahead and take a look here on the Galaxy Nexus here from Samsung uh, you can see that uh, and I'm not sure if you have felt uh, about this uh, with these two devices but as you see it has been kind of like a little bit hard edge curve come on focus god damn it there we go as you can see it has kind of like hard edge curves and it has some kind of hard edges over here and I'm sure what company is not trying to eliminate that a little bit more uh, on this Samsung device uh, you can see that they have eliminated all of like the hard curves exactly where you're gonna rest your hand that's why I actually appreciate and it feels a little bit better to hold the Galaxy Nexus than holding 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 the the, the HTC one X um, also one little thing here that uh, I was thinking about when you have these massive displays uh, and when, when you have these big smartphones why the hell do manufacturers why do they put the start button here on the top of the phone I don't freaking get that because first of all you have a very big phone here so you're gonna have a little bit of like 
and you need to like stretch your hand a little bit or your finger to reach that why didn't you use put it on the side here that's one thing also that's something they did very very good here uh, with this HTC or this Galaxy Nexus they put the start button on the side on the right side instead of the top uh, so it's very good it's very natural to hit it with your thumb when you want to start it up don't have any buttons here on the top so I would love to see HTC do that a little bit more but I mean if you talk about these two phones I actually like to hold the Galaxy Nexus a little bit more it feels a little bit better okay so that, that that's that's kind of nice uh, let's see here let's continue okay so I said the start button is, it should not have like any buttons here on the top if it's a big phone now uh, as you do know Apple iPhone 4s uh, has that kind of button up there on the top now it works on this device because it's very it's a very, it's a very you know small phone that what that that's why it doesn't feel any awkward or something like that when when you have it on the front because it's very very easy to access. Also that they did put it on the right side. That's very good. Uh, as we can see here in the beginning on the like the the the, uh, the iPhone the iPod 3G they had it on the, on the left side. And I'm sure why they had that, but then they have changed it on the new iPod Touch fourth generation and on the new iPhone uh, that it's it's only on 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 um, on the right side uh, but on big phones they shouldn't actually have any buttons I think on the top because it's going to be very very hard to access and also you see that Nokia did a good thing over here that they also have the button start button here on the side uh, so that's something that I do appreciate but we have this problem as I said in the beginning with the Nokia that you have these very very hard edges I don't really like that uh, the iPhone works as I said in this form factor the problem with the iPhone is that if you if you if you don't want this kind of like a small screen you don't have you don't have a choice because there is only a 3.5 inch iPhone and as you see as I said the HTC One X has a little bit of both uh, with the um, kind of like a little bit uh, both curves but also some hard edges uh, and uh, if you ask me I mean it works okay uh, you're probably gonna get used to it but I would definitely wanna have and, f and hold the Galaxy Nexus even though it feels a little bit bulkier a little bit bigger and fatter uh, I mean we can see that they have put that that something really did focus on this that they have this kind of big thing down here with uh, like no hard edges feels very good okay and I mean, I, th I think that's very important uh, that it feels good. Now, let's just go ahead and throw in another phone in this and let's go ahead and talk about the Sony Xperia S because there are some things <clears throat> with the Sony Xperia S that kind of piss me off. And, and uh, it, it has uh, both good things and bad things. What I do like about this phone is that, first of all, it has like, okay, first of all, it has some kind of like hard edges on the side. Um, it's going to be very very hard to focus on this video okay first of all as I said it has some very very hard edges on the sides uh, this is also why I hate black phones you can't see anything hard edges on the sides uh, a bit like the iPhone uh, but then they failed uh, with the design they don't have it like the iPhone that they have curved the sides where you hold the phone that's freaking annoying because this one this is going to hurt okay it, do, it doesn't feel any good okay I know you aren't, you, you aren't gonna fuck with the phone but it feels annoying also I don't get what this thing down at the bottom is basically doing it only says Xperia it's just taking up the space so I'm pretty sure why they put it over there and that transparent thing is a little bit cool but you never like use it so I'm pretty sure why the reason I mean it only makes the phone bigger but why did it fail? It should have made it a little bit more curved. What I do like about this phone though is it has this kind of curved back. Even though when you put it down, it's gonna like wobble if you put if you if you if you hold on the sides. And that's something that I do hate. But uh, yeah, they, 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 it, Sony should work a little bit more on making a little bit more curved phone when you're gonna rest it. He says Samsung uh, has done a very good job with. Now, <clears throat> so that's the thing that I think is the problem with this phone. It doesn't feel 
it doesn't feel very welcome, you know, when you when you hold it. Also, that the uh, on on where they put the uh, start button, they didn't even put it on the on this side. They put it on the left side. So it, it, if it, it's like it's uh, it's it's like this phone is optimized for left-handed because it's easier to reach it with your finger over there. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a little bit harder because you your finger have to travel a longer road uh, than if it would be on this side. So. Here's some small little things there that do uh, get me annoyed because I really want to have an awesome experience when I hold my device. Let's just go ahead and put in my, my two favorite devices over here, or not maybe not my two favorite devices. Uh, but here we can see that Samsung did the same thing. <clears throat> Uh, Samsung did a little bit of both over here I would say on the sides. Now first of all, uh, if you talk about the sides, you can see that it has this kind of uh, curve over here on the back where you're going to hold the device. Uh, <clears throat> and then this has kind of a, a bit a little a hard edge but still a tiny little bit of curved. Uh, and also you can see that they did the same thing with the Galaxy S2 as with the Galaxy Nexus. That it has this kind of bump up uh, on the back where you are going to rest your fingers and stuff. When you, where you're going to have the, the device. So it feels very good to have that kind of bump um, on the back. And that's something that I so much love with two, these two devices. Uh, that you have that kind of bump in the back. Uh, and that, that uh, they're really focused on where you're going to rest um, your stuff and everything. That it feels so good. But mm, you but you be like, oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Awkward. Okay, so... Um, then we also have the my, my phone that I use a lot here um, has some very very curved hair on the Galaxy Note. Both curved are here on the back on the side. It's curved over here, <clears throat> and it's curved over here. <clears throat> Just imagine if the Galaxy Note would have the same design as the iPhone. <clears throat> it it doesn't feel any good because you need curves all over the place. As you can see, I have the curve over here. It feels very good <clears throat> on the sides. Uh, so my favorite devices to basically hold uh, would probably be the Galaxy Nexus uh, because it has this kind of bump. I think actually the Samsung is one of the best uh, at thinking about the curves and everything <clears throat> when you're holding a device. Uh, gives that kind of sort of nice feel. But Samsung needs of course to work a little bit more on uh, on, on their build quality. So <clears throat> they both, uh, all phones got their good things and, and bad things and whatever if, if you prefer the build quality on other phones it, it, it's cool you can go ahead and do that I just told you in this video my opinions about what I think about these devices and everything so if you like this video you can leave it a thumbs up and um, yeah you can have an awesome day bye bye